So more drama, more police investigations involving a boy band member. This time, as many of you have heard, Tail from NCT. Not a hype or big hit band, but from SM Entertainment. Their marquee boy band brand. One of their members has been kicked out of NCT because of these ongoing allegations and investigations into misconduct SA involving him. But was there a cover-up? Why does something so serious as an allegation, as an investigation, and also as a company response that essentially gives credence to the allegations, why has all of this been so lightly handled by the public and the media compared to Suga's falling over his scooter? So we have no details on the allegations, the charges. We do know that it does involve S.A. or something in the realm of S. But we only found this out on apparently the 28th when Tail went for questioning at the police. Where was his photo line? How come we didn't have advance notice in advance, like for weeks saying like, oh, he's going to be going to the police station. Where is, where was the uproar about the whole incident? Now, what we do know is that these charges were filed to the police in June by an adult female. We didn't even know it was an adult female until about a week ago or this week where the police had to confirm that because there were all of these allegations and speculations going around that it might be a minor female, a minor male. And so that the police took it upon themselves to clarify, which does have this implication of like, yes, there is a double standard in Korea where if it's a uh, male victim people take it much more seriously than the female we saw that with the case of the previous cases not the most recent cases of the nth room like the, you know the telegram chat rooms where they show horrible uh situations of uh, people being exploited in that manner if you remember was it i think it was about a year ago there was somebody who didn't target females, but they targeted males. And that person, I believe, got a lot more punishment and, and swifter condemnation. So it goes to show, like, whoever is in power, if you are threatening them, they will throw that book down harder than if they kind of don't care because, oh, you're not, you're not a male. So that is a little bit unfortunate. However, what we do know, okay, so Taylor went for questioning August 28th, a few days ago. We saw no photo line. We saw no pre, you know, advanced talk about making sure that he faces the public and it addresses them and bows even before his investigation. So to kind of keep it fair, he hasn't been... He hasn't been fully investigated by the police and it hasn't gone to the prosecution. He hasn't been charged with the crime or he, and he hasn't been sentenced with the crime. Does he look guilty? Yeah, sure. He uh, totally looks guilty. However, if we look at all of the calls that were made for Suga to apologize and repent and you know, make sure that the public feels his remorse... Even before he went in for his own questioning, that is like a huge double standard over what over tripping over his scooter. People are like, yeah, but he could have hurt tons of people drunk driving. And, you know, this 
you know, the, the misogynistic comments about this case comparing to Sugar's case, they're saying like, well, he, well, Tail only harmed one female, whereas Sugar could have harmed a bunch of people with his DUI. Look, that scooter, that scooter, if even if he mowed down people, he would be hurt more than probably the person he bumped into. Obviously, he lost a fight with the sidewalk. You think that another person is going to be extremely injured by a grandma scooter? What we do see from this situation, though, from Tail, which I think in a weird way shows more corruption and more laws or procedures being broken because I think he's being treated fairly. So the the fact that we didn't know about this investigation until now when he went in for questioning and we didn't even see him go in for questioning, we didn't even have any advance notice of his questioning. When you really think about it, that is so that should be the way it should be done. And when we look at the Lee Sun Yoon case, where that actor was also horribly maligned and maliciously condemned even before his own investigations, and people are saying like, you know, we shouldn't be leaking the details of this kind of celebrity investigation. We shouldn't be leaking the details of them going to the police station. So Tail, it seems as if he is being treated the way that the law should be treating somebody. However, because he was treated according to the right standards of the law, it really looks like somebody was breaking the law because of course there's going to be leaks. If this has been over two months, of course there should have been leaks by now. Of course there should have been people who knew about this situation by now. But what we do have in this situation is that SM immediately cut and run right after the public found out in a big way. SM itself claims that they only found out in the middle of August. Find that hard to believe, but that is what they claim and that is what they say. They had to clarify that because they got a lot of condemnation because Tails showed up for an NCT reunion fan meeting on August 3rd and 4th. So if SM had known before then, obviously, they're, with the SM type of power in Korea, you're going to get a tip off you know, from people you have on the payroll in the police station. But let's say they didn't. But they're claiming that they didn't know until the, the middle of August. So therefore, there was no reason to block Taylor from going to the fan meeting at the beginning of August. But people are really doubting and suspecting SM because they cut and run so fast. Usually in these types of situations, they'd be like, look, we have to wait for the police investigation. We have to wait for, but perhaps, okay, so if you look at it on the side of SM being innocent, perhaps they found out they got a debrief of the questioning, maybe from Tail himself, and they really got a sense of whether these allegations were true and also getting a sense of how serious the, this crime was. And so they, what we do know factually is that SM cut Tail from the group. Tail's bandmates unfollowed him on social media to also distance themselves. Apparently that's a huge thing. That's if you unfollow. So... If you're not an NCT fan and you're just like, who is, who is Tail? What is an NCT? We do know it's a boy group from SM, but Tail, he's about 30 and he started in 2013 when he was discovered by SM Entertainment. 2016, he joined NCT. This was like the big new boy band. What does NCT stand for? Neo 
culture technology, and it had an unlimited members concept. So I think this was a, a bit of a smart move for SM to reduce the amount of risk that you have in forming a band because once you form it you know it has its fixed members and if something goes wrong with those members that kind of sinks your investment and you don't know how these kids are going to grow up and you know what they're going to grow into and with SM being so old they probably have seen you know a lot of this drama behind the scenes and this seems like it would be a very modular concept however I think it that would also have a lot of infighting and groups and factions and and crazy drama and we know how uh, there are some toxic elements over at SM and how this could be actually more drama than actually reducing drama. However, what we do know on the surface, so they first started with NCTU, that would be NCT United. Then right away they announced a second subunit, NCT 127, which is the main group I think that you would see a lot. You, you probably got to know one two. what does 127 stand for? It represents the longitude coordinate of Seoul. I don't know how they come up with these names. They just come up with these names. Third subunit was NCT Dream, and these were the younger members, uh, I guess teenagers, you know, before being adults. So if you saw that creepy bubblegum, not bubblegum, chewing gum, which apparently Minnie Jin also, when she was over at SM, did the creative direction on. Funny how then, you know, she just does bubblegum with new jeans. There's something creepy about that gum. I mean, all of the candy, all this kind of stuff, stay away from candy and stuff, kids. Like if Minnie Jin is handing it out because, you know, that cookie was suspect. Her gum is very suspect as well. All right. So that was NCT Dream. Then the fourth subunit was Wavy. And there was a second group project. So they separate them out into subunits, which I think makes sense because it gives... Uh, uh, the group to uh, ability to create music and concepts and and artistry in a focused manner with fewer people and they can work on different things at the same time but then come together again to you know do like the big sm entertainment blowout so they did the second group project at nct 2020 for you know, the year 2020 then in the year 2021, they did another re reunion of NCT 2021. Then NCT Lab was established to do solo projects for the NCT members. And I think this was also during the whole COVID situation. So it made sense to do more solo stuff. Then in 2023, they did another subunit called NCT Tokyo. And then they created a group of a few members, three members, NCT, To Che Jung, or Chung. So it's To Young, Che Hyun, and Chung Woo. They combined their names and created a different NCT subunit. Then they also had people leave NCT and go join Rise. And they also did another reality show in 2023 to create the NCT New Team, the final subunit NCT New Team turned into NCT Wish. There's all this stuff, right? So this is great for the fandom because it always gives them something new to kind of focus on and new merch to buy and new, you know, subunits and, and reunions and all this kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool. Now, what was the official statement from SM? Because in this story, that's the most we have going on right now we don't have any big announcements from the police station they're just trying to quell like this fervor online and we don't really have i haven't seen a message from tail you know how many times did bts sugar have to announce an apology handwrite an apology publish it on weverse Please let me know if if there is something that I missed, but I don't think Tail has actually released his own statement yet, and he has not released uh, some sort of even written apology on any socials. Where is the uproar for that? BTS Sugar, even before he went into the police station, had to do it multiple times. So this is the official statement from SM. We have recently learned that Tail has been accused in a criminal case related to a sexual offense. 
As we were assessing the facts related to the matter, we recognized the severity of the situation and determined that Tail could no longer continue his activities with the team and CT. After discussing with Tail, we have decided on his departure from the group. Tail is currently cooperating fully with the police investigation. We will provide further statements as the investigation progresses. We deeply apologize for the concern and distress caused by our artist. So, SM Entertainment is looking like they're trying to reduce the liability of being associated with Tail and kind of just cut and run and throwing him out into the forest to let him fend for himself. So that's a bit unfortunate. Now, what we do also know is that there has been a huge double standard when it comes to the response by the police, the media, the public, when it comes to somebody who looks like they are extremely guilty with a lot more backing in Taylor's case, where it would be understandable if the public was in an uproar and wanted to crucify him, even though they shouldn't, the investigation is ongoing and he should be respected in the sense of his own due process. So it seems like he's getting his due process. But then Suga did not, did not. And over what? Losing a battle with the sidewalk. Here, Tail is battling very serious charges against somebody who he may have abused. So, double standard. Where was the illegal photo line for Tail? We have no images of him going in and out of the police station at all. If there were no leaks up until then, there definitely would be rumblings in the media and people knowing that Tail was going to go to the police station. But nothing. Nothing. Where were the demands since June to get Tail to the police station for an investigation? Remember, Shuga, I believe it was only about two weeks when he went into go for his three-hour police investigation, but immediately people were just like condemning him. And even the reporters were saying, why don't you go to the police station right away? Well, why didn't Tail go to the police station in June or even the whole month of July or even the beginning of August? Where is the uproar for him? Also, how come we don't even know how long Tail was questioned for? We knew immediately, oh, sugar, three hours. We don't even know how long Tail was in there. So I'm not, I'm not saying that we should know. I don't think we should have known for Suga. We, I'm not saying that we should have seen Tail in a photo line. We shouldn't have seen. Where does, where is this line created and for what and why? It really then not does not necessarily condemn the celebrities or even the police i think this really makes what whatever societal standards you have look the worst in a shorthand way which i hate to say it's like oh it makes korean people look bad in this way but what i am saying is that you know, the certain base level of what's acceptable and commonplace and expected in a certain culture. That is, I think, on trial here the most right now from what we've seen. Of course, as we get the details from what will be shared or can be shared about this case involving this woman and and tail then yes that is the case but right now i think what we're seeing being really on trial is this double standard and this hypocrisy so there's no way that this big celebrity case would not have 
been leaked. Even in some other case right now in the past day where it involves apparently another celebrity, they're already leaking his last name and kind of a few details of what K-pop group he was in. There's no way this wouldn't have been leaked. It, this was probably blocked. And that, yes, does show the power that some people have in Korea. So the fact that I think Tail is being treated fairly shows that there was something unfair going on. <laughs> Not that everybody is treated unfairly, but definitely the celebrities would be treated in a way where people would pounce on it. So... The question is, how did the law actually get followed, I think, in Tail's case? Who broke the rules and got him special treatment so he could be treated fairly? Wrap your mind around that. It's so ironic. But if you can kind of follow that logic chain, then you'll do well in Korea because y'all, it is a mental gymnastics there every single day. All right. Well, what do you guys think? Put your comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.